Hello gamers, it's nice. I hope all of you MMO crafters and artisans are having a nice day. Today we're going to be doing something a little different than the normal hype by discussing why Ashes of Creation may not be the MMO for everyone. We'll also be discussing a feature that either has you excited or worried about this upcoming MMO still in development. This feature is the Caravan system, an important gathering, PvP, and economical player driven system that I'm excited to play and test in Alpha 2. Before we discuss why the Caravan system serves as an example of why Ashes of Creation may not be for everyone, Let's first briefly detail what we currently know about the caravan system as a lot has changed recently and we're not really too sure so I won't go too much in detail but let's go ahead and give an overall synopsis I'll say. The caravan system is yet another open world PvP system that further enhances that risk versus reward ideology I speak on so much with the Ashes of Creation. We can summarize the caravan system as follow. Essentially, when you want to transfer materials or goods you gather between different nodes, you will need to create and initiate a caravan to ship those goods. These caravans Caravans can transfer all types of goods and are player initiated. Think of an old western where the bandits attempt to rob a wagon or a train of their supplies in hopes of landing a major score. Now what's cool or scary is that caravans create open world PvP around them that is actually separate from the normal flagging system that we discussed in previous videos. Everyone will be flagged as combatants, so essentially you can attack a caravan for its loot without the detriment of going corrupted. You can also choose to be the defender of said caravan, so maybe the caravan initiator is a friend, guildmate, or the mayor of the node, or maybe you have chosen to put your loot in this caravan as well to transport it, or perhaps the coolest vested interest, you were hired as a bodyguard to protect the transportation of this caravan. As I've mentioned, the open sea is an always on PvP zone, and what is cool is that there will be naval caravans and land caravans can turn into these naval caravans upon reaching a body of war. When attacking a caravan, you will not know the exact contents of it and how much it's holding, but there will be small visual cues such as if you were transporting a lot of gold or silver, it will be visible from the outside of the caravan. No matter what skin you have, just a little bit might be poking out to kind of give the attackers a hint. Now, the caravan system is an awesome way to incentivize open world PvP and further backs that core risk versus reward concept of Ashes. In certain MMOs, I haven't found the gathering, you know, always the most enjoyable, especially after doing it for hours and hours on end. It's always felt like a chore, but a necessary one if you're looking to sell mats and make a profit, thus contributing to the in-game economy. In The Elder Scrolls Online, I never found joy going around open world zones just picking flowers to sell at a very minuscule profit once it decides to sell on the traders. As the gathering wasn't really too engaging, hunting and gathering New World was a lot more engaging due to the visuals and mechanics, but you really didn't have much incentive to be flagged for PvP while doing it, so it was never really that risky. And as of creation, the gathering looks to be the best we've seen and most feel like they can spend hours gathering in Ashes of Creation after seeing their amazing gathering showcase. Everything from how the trees fell to harvesting the berries and such, it just looks very visually adept. Um, of course, it's Unreal Engine 5, but I mean, it just looks amazing. Now, why do I say people will either be excited or worried about Ashes of Creation and its caravan system? Well, what if I told you that after those hours of engaging and glorious gathering that this MMO provides, some guy, despite the huge negatives of going corrupted in PK and decided he wanted some of the mats you've been carrying and uh, yeah, you will drop those on death. Or what if I told you that, hey, he said he wanted to gather in this area and feel like you're hogging all the resources so he attacks you. Well. What if you loaded all those mats into a caravan to get them to a node and said caravan gets overrun and you lose all those materials, especially if you didn't purchase the caravan insurance as someone who wasn't the owner. How is the community feeling about this? Well, what inspired today's video is that I recently made the mistake a lot of people on the internet eventually make, and that was to join Reddit. <laughs> I'm kidding, but between Discord, various YouTube videos, comment sections, and now Reddit, I've seen a lot of concerns about the Ashes of Creation, and these aren't the normal, when is this going to release, or I dislike the combat, or give us boob sliders, you know, the normal normal kind of sentiments. These are people that are not a fan of Ashes of Creation's core concepts. These are the ones that don't like that they're technically always vulnerable to PvP open world. They feel that losing these materials will anger people too much, that'll hurt the player count, making people not want to play. And the one that I've seen a lot, this game is not respecting my time. These players always say, do this like WoW and do this like Guild Wars and do that like New World and Final Fantasy did it this way and in the words of Narc, why don't you go play those other games then? 
everything you want to change in Ashes perhaps already exists. And in some cases, maybe it didn't work for a reason. This is the chance for us to have something different. And if Ashes at its very core concept scares you, then maybe it's not the MMO for you. And that's OK. Does it make it a bad game? nor a good game, just not your game, right? Maybe I have a twisted mindset or maybe I'm speaking from the stance of someone who enjoys MMO PVP in the game, but in my opinion, if I spent an hour gathering materials and lost all of it due to a social interaction with another player, then my time is even more valuable. If it's a struggle to get 200 silver ore to this node, then that ore is even more valuable. If that caravan gets destroyed and raided, it means so much more when I successfully defend one. Everyone can't be a winner. We can't want the in-game economy to be successful and meaningful, but also want everything easy. Each of Ash's core systems feed into each other. The more time, effort, or resources you invest into something, the more meaning and impact it usually has. Caravan attackers have only the reward of stealing the caravan goods without any risk currently planned according to the wiki. Since the game is about risk versus reward, what is, what is the risk you plan to add for caravan attackers? <clears throat> Well, um, I mean, there is a, a level of risk that comes with the attacker, right? We have <coughs> progression paths that exist for bandits and that exist for defenders. And if you choose to opt into a caravan attack, you sign up for that attack and you fail that attack, it is detrimental to your path of progression down the bandit area, right? That's one thing. Two is, um, you know, of course, you have uh, gear decay. You have degradation that can be suffered if you die. Um, that is a cost. Um, and then you also have a reputation. And if your reputation precedes you when you want to make movements of good and transit goods across the world, and you see somebody who's doing it and you want to participate as a defender or a participant, they might say, hey, screw you. You were just murdering my people last week. And I saw that you're like on the top of the bandit list for killing caravans. Um, so, you know, it, it has repercussions in the sense that it locks you out of certain player groups. It provides decay to your armor. It has deleterious effects on your progression in the attacking uh, and the... <coughs> bandit progression of, of caravan attacks or defense. So there are, there are costs there. Make sure you let me know how you feel about this in the comments and what are your thoughts on this? Cause I've seen plenty of people agree as well as disagree. I'm not saying I'll be happy every time my caravan gets destroyed. I'm just saying that because of the risk of it being destroyed and perhaps that it will happen sometimes, I will have had so much more fun transporting one successfully. But uh, maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just some, weird thrill seeking weirdo but <laughs> um ashes of creations core concepts and the caravan system has me very excited and i hope it has you excited too and i hope you learned something here as always thank you to my channel members on the next screen truly appreciate each of you thank you for everyone that liked please subscribe to the channel for more we'll have some more ashes of creations videos coming in some new world some eso perhaps and uh thank you for joining me on this journey thank you so much peace